Hello, all you beautiful gamers out there. It is I, Totem Lord, representing the Switch Lord Council. <laughs> and today I have another edition of Swift Judgment out there for you guys. Today, I'm actually not going to be reviewing a Switch game, but instead a 3DS game by the name of Etrian Odyssey Nexus. <gasps> now, there it was at Game Freaks. And with all their beautiful customer service and whatnot, and my eye spied a brand new 3DS game, which is kind of rare because the 3DS is kind of on its way out the door. And my wife had told me that I could buy my own Valentine's Day gift, so today's game is brought to you by Love. Aww. Now remember, children, too much love can be a bad thing. Yeah! Anyway. <laughs> That's more than enough of that. So, anywho, as you guys know, I usually like to do this with another person on the channel, but, well, I didn't have any choice in not getting anybody today. Gosh, I wish I had somebody to do my video with me tonight to do the review. Ah, oh, dear sister, come hither. You should do a review with me tonight. It'll be awesome. It'll be glorious. If you finally admit that I'm taller than you... What? That's stupid. Why would I do that? Because it's true. You know your no. hair adds like two inches. I'm the oldest, so therefore yeah. it makes me taller by default. No. How tall are you? Wouldn't you like to know? Because you know that you're going to say a number that's shorter than no, my height. No. Because you're going to say a number that's taller than my height. No, because I am taller. No. Yes. So, yeah. Today it's just going to be us and um, nobody else helping out with the review, but that's okay because, as usual, we have Games Caliber. Oh! And of course, what would a Totem Lord Reviews video be without some lovely potions? Alrighty then, let's get right down to it, shall we? Now, just like I said, this is a 3DS game, um, and it was just... Just too good to pass up because I know that some of you that watch this are collectors or just like to hear the sound of my soothed, calming voice. And let's take a look at the cover, shall we? I think if I fold, if I go this way, we, we, we're we not going to witness that nasty glare today. So the cover is looking pretty spiffy, and as soon as I saw it was some kind of neat little collector's thing, I just had to grab it up. So, the cover, in my opinion, it looks pretty sweet. I mean, it's not too much going on. It's got some pretty rich colors going on here. And at the very bottom, it of course lets you know lets you know that there's a 32-page art book and that it's the launch edition. Ooh, and it comes with a Vivian pen. Who knows what Vivian is, but it, we're going to find out here pretty quick, aren't we? Um, but yeah, honestly, I absolutely love this cover. For anybody out there that's kind of on the fence about buying it, the cover alone is just vibrant and just really nice to look at. And look at that. Got rid of that stupid glare. So, you know, honestly, I'm going to give this one a high score. It's probably going to be about a 9-ish. <coughs> All right. Moving on to the back. I really haven't looked at it too much since I bought it. So, kind of giving you guys the first view here. Oh, no. The glare is going to come back. Return of the glare. Oh! All right. So, the back is actually... Looking pretty good. I think they put a lot of thought into this. This is pretty cool. At the top, it kind of shows you what you're getting yourself, or what, what you're getting as a collector, which is always nice. Um, art book, Vivian Pin again. And yeah, the back is pretty explanatory. Customize your character and set out on a thrilling new adventure. Experience revived game mechanics. Explore the map and the most challenging, biggest Etrian yet. I'm not really sure if it's really telling you much of what the game is, honestly. I mean, I'm familiar with the Etrian Odyssey um, game series, but that's only because I've uh, played a couple of games and I own a few of them. Um, I mean, I love the art on the back. I think it's pretty well proportioned. My only gripe is it's really not telling you much of what's going on. Um, well, I guess explore a challenging dungeon, so I guess maybe that kind of gives away that it's an RPG, but meh. Honestly, though, I'm going to probably give the back a nice solid 8. Alright, the nice thing about these swift judgments is that they're nice and quick, but I gotta remember to drink my potion. 
Otherwise, my life goes right down the drain. Wouldn't want to bring back that hard nut, would we? <coughs> All right. James Caliber, do your thing. As soon as I find a decent entry point. here coming in from the top let's check this sucker out looks like the first thing we're gonna see is that Vivian pin I wonder if Vivian is one of the characters in the game now although I have played a couple of the games I have it's been a while and I never actually beat one but they're pretty fun dungeon crawlers so there's the Vivian pin always a nice little lovely touch and I'm gonna have to go to the bottom in order to get this out ah. Alright, well, game, obviously, and the booklet, check, ooh, ah, crushed my box, alright, the art book, well, just like the rest of it, it looks pretty sweet, um, I kind of wish I'd reviewed more Atlas stuff, because it looks like that they really put some thought and care into what they do here, ooh, first page here, and we're not going to go over all of it. Honestly, I mean, that'd be kind of silly, um, but I will point out some highlights. Uh, as I go, it looks like. Let's see here. Now, I believe that, that you can customize your own character, and each, which, whichever avatar you pick, uh, they have different abilities and whatnot. I've only looked into it just a tiny bit. Different classes, like the Night Seeker, that's got some pretty good art here. And I'm glad that the gods of the glare are smiling down upon us and letting us enjoy this a little bit. Um, but yeah, it looks like the artwork is basically going over the different classes of the game, which is kind of cool. I mean, um, if you have a 3DS XL, you can probably see all the characters just fine. But just in case you're still looking at that itty bitty screen on the not XL, uh, you got this neat little art book here to go over all that stuff, so... Honestly, um, it is what it says it is. It's got beautiful art. I think it's really cool. The pin's always a nice touch. I mean, hey, it's no keychain, so sorry, Jace. Oh! Um, sweet extras, I mean, I gotta say. And this game wasn't it wasn't a ridiculous price. It was the normal price of 40 bucks. So honestly, for that price, that's, that's pretty freaking sweet. Overall, gonna have to give the pack, package probably a good solid... Eight. That was that was pretty awesome. Just like to say, thank you, Atlas. That was a most divine treat that you've given us. All right, and that's all the time that I have for today. Just like thank you all for checking me out again. All nine of you that are subscribed out there, you're beautiful. And I will judge you next time.